A fire last night left 10 people without a home. Now this marks the ninth fire since Savannah Fire started its Keep the Reef Green initiative. WJCL's Leandra Larson joins us now with more on what the department is saying about the causes of these fires. Dale Shannon, out of the nine fires that have happened since this initiative started, five of them have began in the kitchen. Firefighters say while the number of fires is not unusual, they are starting to see a trend in where the fires start. Last night, a fire took over this home on West 39th and left three adults and seven children displaced. This video from last night shows just how high the flames got. Firefighters were there in minutes. A three minute arrival time for the fire department. Uh, but one thing that's important to note is that typically a fire can double in size every 60 seconds. So that's why notifying the fire department right away is important. That's why having a fire extinguisher there in your kitchen right at the time is important so that you can try to minimize some of the damage and the spread of it. In the event that there's a fire in your home, you want to be prepared. So make sure you know where your fire extinguisher is at all times. Also, while you're cooking, keep things like oven mitts away from the stove so that they don't catch fire. If a fire starts up, you can actually extinguish the flames by pouring baking soda over the pan that's on fire. You can also grab a lid to the pan and cut off that oxygen. You just want to make sure it's not a glass lid. And no matter what anyone tells you, don't ever put water over a fire. What we've seen over the last uh, several days are particularly kitchen fires. And there have been those that um, tend to sometimes they start cooking and they may fall asleep or they forget that they're cooking or they get distracted and uh, they go back into the kitchen and realize that there's something that's already on fire. The cell phone video we showed you was actually sent to us from a viewer. If you see news happening around you, feel free to send us videos or photos at WJCL.com forward slash upload. Reporting in Savannah tonight, Leandra Larson, WJCL 22 News. Leandra, well, thank you. Now, if you need more information on kitchen fire prevention, you can check out Leandra's story on our website, WJCL.com.